Josh Gad has told us this week they want to take some pressure off the quarterback position and put him in an easier spot, and they do here with the pitch and catch to tight end Nick Eubanks. It's needed as Evans goes in motion out of the backfield. And Milton throws quickly, and it's caught by Cornelius Johnson, but the ball pops out, and it's an easy pickup by Christian Izian on the Michigan turnover. A short return near the 30-yard line, but after a third down completion, Johnson fumbles, Izian has the ball, and Rutgers will take over. Bose in the Big Ten. There's the catch by Johnson. The hand on the ball, though, by Brendan White back on the field tonight. Bridge gets low, gets the sack. Playing with tempo here, Bedwell to throw it on third and 21. And the pass is caught by Jones, but way, way short of what the Scarlet Knights need for the first down. He's lost now, dating back to last season, as Milton went three for three on the opening drive. Now four for four, and he goes right back to Cornelius Johnson, who had the fumble. Then into the last drive, but a catch along the sideline and out of bounds for a first down. Mistakes they make Monday through Friday aren't happening on Saturdays as that pass is off target for Giles Jackson. It's fourth and one is the opportunity here, and it's a zone read, and it's Milton to the 42. Is he there for the first down? Rutgers thinks they've held really close. Will depend on the spot. Rutgers has held here on fourth and one. Okay, we're here tonight for... Rutgers and Michigan. Mark Fallowbell, James Laurinaitis, Elise Miniker on the sideline. Our rules analyst is Dean Blandino, and this is Medro going deep, and it's a catch by Aaron Cruikshank. Not going with tempo, and it's Aaron Young. Young to the edge on a snap inside the 15 and racing for the sideline, and has it out of bounds right at the four, right at the first down marker. Throw with Langan down here low. Langan looked left, runs right, stays on his feet, looking for his third rushing touchdown of the year, and he has it. Tough running by Johnny Langan and Rutgers on the board. To throw, Milton. Deep ball looking for Jackson, and there's one of those throws with touch, with accuracy, and on the money to Jackson to the Rutgers 45. Field goal range, Quinn Nordeen has had four 50-plus yard field goals in his career, but they're thinking throw it deep on the back shoulder fade and incomplete looking for Jackson. Go right to left on the Quinn Nordeen field goal attempts, and he just doesn't get it to turn over, and he misses from 49 yards out. Lead from their 40. Adams again stood up, bounces out. Brad Hawkins will force him out, but not before Adams bounces off a tackle and fights off Hawkins to pick up more, more yardage in the first down. Four receivers bunch to the right side. Vedral will keep it and is close to a first down. Wrapped up by Adam Shibley, who's in the game since McGrone went out at linebacker with the injury a moment ago. Here having seven tackles. And now on the move, it's, Crook, it's Crookshank giving it to Shamin Jones on the reverse, and Jones Directing traffic, pass blocks, and that traffic cop move that he had worked as it takes Jones behind his blockers all the way down to the Michigan five. Now for the one, the snap to Langan, and off the right side and into the end zone for the second time tonight. Rutgers, touchdown. And they'll dial up that coverage again here on third down, but they won't need it because Bedrill is running, and Bedrill's gonna run for the first down. Are you kidding me? He had a chance to get out the field. He'll stay on the field and on first down, Vedral to Shamin Jones. Come up with it. We saw Vedral scramble on third and long and a moment ago. They throw it right back to the same place, but a different receiver in Bo Melton. I know you. <laughs> I know you like him. Again, for 26 and 29, Ambrosio hit last week and he drills this one from 38. Couldn't be any better. Rutgers extends the lead in 74 yards in a touchdown this season. Now, all of those completions were last week. And here's his first completion. And he goes right to he threw the touchdown pass to last week. Mike Sane was still. There may be a face mask as well on the tackle after he caught the deflected ball. Jeff Servinsky and the group get it right. But it was a first down to the 46. And McNamara heaves it in wide open and walking into the end zone. Cornelius Johnson, there is your spark. First touchdown of the game for the Michigan Wolverine. And they have 15 attempts for 17 yards. So it's all in the QB. And there's another throw by the QB by McNamara. And going under from their own 39. 
Pressure coming underneath. Blake Corum with a convoy. And then steps out of bounds. A yard pass, the first down marker. McNamara with a throw to the sideline. It's caught. A second left. Rising up for the catch is Mike Sainer still and out of bounds. So Nordine will have an opportunity. For kicks that is from 50 plus in his career. High snap. It was down, but that clearly set things off. It put Nordine off, and he misses way wide left in this offense. The question is, where will the offense start? We're about to find out. On well, the kickoff by Justin Davidovitz. Giles Jackson, a return, a lot of room to return, and down the sideline, and he just sprints through that gaping hole, and they won't have to worry about the running game right now because Jackson has returned the opening kickoff of the second half for a touchdown. Exchange of real estate in the game. And that was an exchange of real estate and an exchange of points. The Rutgers lead from 10 down to three touchdowns in 2019. The throw, Noel Vedral. And he's looking for Bo Melton, and he finds him. And it is big plays of plenty to start the second half. Rutgers answers the kickoff return with a long bomb to Bo Melton. Series of the first half at quarterback for Michigan. And he hands the ball off to Hassan Haskins. Went left, cut back right. And undoubtedly, one of the best runs of the game. Third and 12. And here they come, and it's picked up, and it's McNamara throwing, and it's Eric All with the catch and a first down. Threw a beauty on the button to Eric All. And now it's Haskins, and Haskins with a lot of room. 20-yard line, and dragged down at the 10. Plays ago when they had only 17 yards the whole first half on the ground. McNamara to throw, the little pop pass is caught. Touchdown, Nick Eubanks. Gain of three on the run by Adams. Quick pass, Aaron Young. And Young hit at the first down marker and drives forward, facing a mountain of second down and 19. Federal rolling, pump fake, avoids Ben Van Summeren at the sideline, throws on the move and throws it up for grabs. And how about that for redemption for Jones? Quick snap, seven minutes gone by third quarter, this time to the right side. In space to Crookshank, first down, 27-yard line. Play. Did he make a play on third down and seven? They're going to give him a chance with two defenders on him in an incompletion. Told us that he merits more playing time. Ambrosio is hit tonight from 38, and he just hit from 42. Rutgers has found themselves a solid kicker, and it's also a really important component. A lot of what centers things on the defense for Rutgers as Zach Charbonnet runs the ball. They've led the whole game. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense number seven. First down. Well, Brendan White comes here and you see that left hand gets stuck. Now fourth down. Slant pass. Chris Evans caught it. Turns up field first down. And bumped at the 20 and to the 16. For it. Making all sorts of contact. So after all of that, offsetting penalties, and McNamara has to absorb another big hit. Goes a strike to Ronnie Bell, who lost his mouthpiece as he was driven backwards, but forward progress should reward him with a first down. Play clock winding down. Snap off in time. Another slant. Mike Sainra still. Touchdown. There's the first Michigan lead early in the fourth quarter. Now Federal with Josh Ross coming after him and caught him. He tried to spin away from Ross, but the spinorama does not get him away from Ross. It's a sack for a big loss. Adam Shibley's played a lot since then. Marker down to the snap. Backwards pass to Bo Melton. Spun out of a tackle up high and then bounces out of the 40. Football game. See if you can have one more. Touchdown. Splendid performance tonight. He finds it open. Ronnie Bell, who swerves back to his left, and then the turf monster got him at the 30 yard. Had most of the attention tonight. They won't give it to him here. They faked it, and then it's underneath. And coming into play tonight, four for 21 this evening. Running play, Haskins. And stays on his feet and drives for the first down. It's been effective, it's been methodical so far. Zipped to Cornelius Johnson. Got a block from Ronnie Bell. First down to the 30. And is now inside the Rutgers 30. Charbonnet again. 
Tough running. Spun away. And Here's Haskins. Darts to his right. Room up the middle, first down. On that play and its patience that typifies what's transpired on this drive. Cornelius Johnson looking for a block from Ronnie Bell. Got enough of a block and then tight ropes the sideline and is in for the touchdown for Michigan. Don't. Ross had one of the best defensive plays of the game tonight with a 17-yard loss on a sack earlier in the second half. That is, 37 yards doesn't sound pretty. He's worked hard to pick up what he has picked up tonight as Jones catches, and Jones is brought to pick up. Leading third and three, throw by Federal, and it's a good throw. It's caught by Shamin Jones, first down. Rutgers is able to accomplish those two goals out in front of him. Catch again by Jones. Which one of them will be the target here? It's Melton, and Melton on the slant with the catch. And Melton asked for Rutgers, fourth and nine at the Michigan 11. Down eight, pressure coming. And Vedral steps away and throws for the end zone, and it's caught! Aaron Crookshank brings Rutgers to within two. To tie the game, quarterback draw, Vedral running, hit, driving, in, tie game! as we're in the first overtime. And a keeper here by McNamara, and McNamara stops short, fourth down, fourth down. He missed when he had the right to left angle earlier, and this time he gets it to turn over, but not enough, no good. We'll find out what he has in terms of backbone, as he will have his opportunity here. A losing skid. Ambrosio, it's sailing off to the left, and no good. Shamin Jones in motion. A right side rollout, a throwback to the left, and it's caught by Giovanni Haskins, and Haskins is going to score! That's what Sean Gleason wanted into the end zone on the first play. Touchdown, Rutgers! Which they've done ever since Kate McNamara came into the game, and that is a good throw on the move, a bullet throw to Giles Jackson after the Rutgers timeout. And it's McNamara keeping it and diving for the end zone. He scores. Just with enough energy and enough of their legs to make a play at the end of the game. And now another jump ball. Oh, and a flag is down. Young and Giles Jackson come together right at the goal line. Apparent pass interference. Defense. defense number two. Really talking to Avery Absolutely. Young. Tell them, look, Avery Young doesn't turn his head around. Snap to McNamara. And leaping in is Hassan Haskins. Touchdown, Michigan. McNamara to throw it. It's been running plays the whole drive other than the pass interference. And then it's an incompletion. Play by Green. Pacheco in motion. Third and six. Federal look right. And he slides down to the 24. The nine for a touchdown to force overtime. Now to keep the game alive on fourth and nine. Throwing for the end zone into double coverage and intercepted, and Michigan wins. Daxton Hill seals the deal, and Michigan's losing streak comes to an end. Cade McNamara and ultimately Daxton Hill finish off a 48-42 three-overtime win.